Hi lovelies! How's it going? It's Tansy Faye. Welcome. Today's video is going to be about uh, work-wise and how and your money in that sort of situation. <laughs> We're just going to see if you are on a journey for on the right career that you're on already or if there's a new career or any kind of enlightenment that we can do for you. I also want to tell you a spell that can help you with work and prosperity and that sort of thing. <laughs> this a spell comes from the book Magic. So a lot of the ingredients are things that you have at home. Um, if you don't have the ingredients, then you can always you can always you know improvise in whatever calls to you, right? You know the best thing about being a good witch <laughs> is about being able to improvise with what you have. <laughs> so the spell that in this book is called Spiritual Sea Spiritual Speed. So this is to fast track your if you're trying to get a new job or trying to be more successful at your job or career, whatever that is, to bring you more prosperity, right? Money doesn't fall from the sky. You know, we all wish it does, but it's to help you get the work, get what you need to be able to bring that income in, right? So for this one, your ingredients are three black peppercorns <laughs> and a pinch of frankincense Franken frankincense um, you will need you also need a hot charcoal disc disc or a heat proof dish or both you need the, the charcoal you have some charcoal around you know even if it's just a little bit from your barbecue um, in a heat proof dish um, then it's about like crushing the ingredients with a moral and pestle or whatever you have to crush anything you know like crush your pepper seeds and the frankincense and to break up your charcoal um yeah then you just use any kind of heat proof dish or like a pan a frying pan or something like that and that is safe making sure that it's safe and something that you know won't cause anything to melt or burn or anything like that um yeah and then you just like smush them all together and then you could use a candle or like incense to kind of like um like if you have incense you just light a hat and incense and like <laughs> i'm more prepared right? Um, and it sounds like this one is Dragon's Blood, but Dragon's Blood would be good for protecting your job, making sure that you have a secure position in the work that you have, or if you want to use sandalwood, it's a good one too. Um, if you're feeling like there's any negativity going on in your work, like gossip and all kinds of drama, you can use sage to kind of get rid of that energy as well. We kind of like just light it and just let the smoke run over it, you know, if some of the ashes that are burning fall into it, even better maybe, you know. <laughs> um, but we can light this for you now just to send some good positive vibes for your reading. And then, yeah, so then you do that, and then you blend them all together, and the spell works fast. And it says in the book, the best time to do it is a full moon, and there is a full moon, I believe, on Sunday or next, next Sunday? But check out when the full moon is, I know it's coming really soon, so that is the best time to do this spell. If you can't wait, you know, you can't wait, you know? <laughs> you do it when you gotta do it, you do it when it feels right. But that is that, it's for money and prosperity. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look into the cards to see what's going on career-wise, work-wise, financial-wise. I'm going to switch the screens. This is a group reading again. So <laughs> we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna switch the screen so you can see what's going on. Hi, water signs. This is for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. We're gonna look into your reading for the rest of the month. I know there's not much left going into <laughs> August for your career money situation to see what's up with that. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. If you're new here, welcome. I am Tamsie Faye, and I do read the cards to light to you, to the dark to me, in case there's any confusion, <laughs> confusion during this reading. We're going to start with your work life and present situation, and then we'll go into the financial situation after that. To see what is cooking, what is going on. I believe during this reading, when you see this, there will be a full moon. So, I will, so the full moon will bring you, the full moon is the thunderstorms if you're believing the native traditions <laughs> or if you're going with the farmers, um, traditions, the farmers, I forget what their calendar is called, <laughs> but if you're going with that then it is called the buck moon, but I like calling it the thunder moon, I have a lot of native in my family as well, that's what it is, right? So this, one, this thunder moon in Capricorn promises to be the intense full moon given the thunderstorms that comes around this time of year. This moon will unravel answers that will keep us define, defining our new foundations in line with who we are today. So this is a good time to start or set career goals and relationship goals. 
or both together. So we're going into your relationship with your career kind of situation. That is what we're dealing with today. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm hoping you had a great day so far. Let's just see what does, this is a group reading by the way, so it is for Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios, all into one reading. For all the water signs energy, since these guys are all very intuitive and similar in that aspect, so let's see what is going on here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Move that over so you can see all these cards. So we're going to start with the seven of pentacles is in the light to you so that is some good energy that represents that you have planted your seed you have thought about your goals you thought about what you want your ambitions and all that sort of thing regarding work career and where you want to move forward but you're kind of at a standstill with where what direction do i go into now i have these ideas i have these goals in place i planted that seed but i don't know how to take care of it or nurture it you know um that sort of thing is coming through it uh, and this card in particular says Nurture what you have and see how it grows. So this is kind of like if you're starting to think of starting a side hustle or whatever it is, starting with what you have. You know, the old saying used to be, you need to spend money to make money, but that, in fact, is not the case anymore. There's a lot of people, especially the people who have been in Dragon's Den and all that sort of thing, will tell you that as well. Starting with what you have is what you need to do nowadays to be more successful and not put yourself in more debt by spending more money. If that is an angle that you're going into, or if it's just that starting point where it's just an idea and you haven't really put in much more thought into that, into that, much more thought into it than you, this, right? So let's just see what is coming for you next. You do have the Knight of Cups in the dark. So some of you may be struggling with that relationship aspect. Hopefully, this new moon will help. That new moon. Full moon. This full moon will bring new energy. That is what I was trying to get at. It says reminiscing the present moment every chance you get so it's like just about being in the present moment and just enjoying how things are now you know you may have that inner conflict within yourself and where your emotions are at and what you can physically and realistically manage at this time maybe playing with those emotions a little bit too you know but for the night of swords it may be hard to express those feelings i don't know if it's just an idea that you haven't really talked to anybody about because you're unsure of where it's going to go or if it's a dumb idea or whatever the case may be you know then you have the Emperor. So the Emperor is like, yes, take charge. You got this. You just need to put this plan into action. You know, figure out how to express yourself to your friends or whoever to get some feedback from them as well. You know, about how to go about this plan and that sort of thing. And this card in particular does say, bring the authority of your own life. Comes with a lot of responsibility. So yes, it does take a lot of responsibility for starting a business from scratch or if you're thinking about a career change or if you're thinking about how to be more productive in the career path that you have on that right now. If it's something where you have to get more clients or whatever the case may be maybe just expressing your thoughts and feelings to your boss or whoever it is your co-workers on how you can grow yourself better in the company that you're with already or looking into transferring into something else or a different position whatever the case may be for you i feel like the energy and the timing is right with this full moon you know it's just about taking that <laughs> putting that plan into action like the emperor is saying here you know take control over that path and make it magic happen you do have the knight of swords in the dark as well so the two knights are in the dark so i kind of like feeling this does represent some of your energy is like having that low ambition not knowing where to get started not knowing when or how to take action but the emperor right in the middle says yes you got this yes you believe in yourself believe that you can do this you know have that confidence don't let you know making sure that your mind and your intuition is matching up and if there's any legal things that you need to take care of regarding finding out more information about whatever this is for you you do have the hermit so i feel like you've already did did the shadow work and all that sort of thing all that you know self-reflection you got you know you're done thinking now it's time to put that plan into action and so that is what we got. We're just going to clarify here exactly. What is this career path that Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios are heading down to? What other advices can we get for Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios? Uh, oh, there's two here. There we go. <laughs> then I see. So you do have the page of cups in the dark so i do feel like there's a lack of communication so i know there's a lack of communication from your co-workers or boss or whatever it is that you have in your workplace or if it's just a matter of you did apply for jobs and you haven't heard back yet and that is frustrating and playing with your emotions and weighing it down and making you lie in bed with stress and worries so, oh gosh no there's a work thing like how do i get that communication how do i but i feel like the taking the emperor's advice about taking action you know instead of just waiting to hear answers maybe there's more things that you can apply to more things that will inspire you 
or like take the action or that initiative to follow up with those places that you did apply to and say, hey, I did apply on this whatever day. I'm just wondering if there's if, there, if you have any consideration for me, whatever the case may be. I just feel like opening up communication with like the Page of Wands, here is in the light. So I feel like that will bring you some good energy and some positive news and that sort of thing just to get you going. New Moon is just about, you know, you're stuck and bored in the career you want, you have right now. You're not really, you know, you don't have the get up and go energy like you used to when you first started at this place. And maybe that is kind of like pulling on your heartstrings as well. So it's like, you know, get out of bed, dust yourself off, go and talk to, you know, your boss or whoever that is for you and see if there's any areas or any departments you can change into just to respark that motivation again, maybe getting some more responsibilities or, you know, whatever the case may be for you to bring back that energy and that spark and get you excited about it again, you know? So you can dance, you know, the Queen of Wands, she's dancing, <laughs> right? She's a planner, she plans ahead. She makes, she puts her plans into action, just like the Emperor, right? It's about having that energy, but you also have to be passionate in the work that you do. You know, if you don't love what you do, then it's so hard to get out of bed and go do it every day and, you know? just seems so mundane, right? <laughs> but for the Queen of Wands, just sparks that interest. Get inspired again. Get motivated again. Get that energetic energy back again. I feel like we'll get you going whatever your career path is for you, whatever your work situation is, you'll be able to find um, that sort of energy there. So I will uh, see what your financial situation is. What is the financial situation that... Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios need to know from now until the end of August. What is the financial situations that Pisces... <laughs> oh, this is the one to come out for you. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is for Pisces. <laughs> okay, can we get a financial situation for Cancers and Scorpios? Can we get a financial situation for... Oops! I guess this one's for Cancer. Let's get a financial situation for Scorpios. What financial situation can we get for Scorpios? Thank you. We will clarify this, but this is what the universe has chosen for you. <laughs> for Pisces, you do have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So for the Six of Cups, I know something has happened in your past and then you're expecting some financial contribute con tribute to that. I don't know. If it's like an inheritance or something that you're waiting for or something that you apply to or whatever the case may be. I do feel there's going to be some either some back pain coming towards you or something like that. Just because of the Six of Cups coming from the past, I do feel there's a little bit of past energy. That, you know, whatever you, whatever seeds you planted, you feel just kind of like a past investment that you put your money into. Maybe it's going to blossom now into the present energy and come through for you. The Ten of Wands is in the dark, so I do feel like it's going to make your responsibilities or burdens, whatever that is, a little bit less stressful by the end of August, whatever the case may be for you. It could be just, you know, your uh, that energy where someone's giving you a gift or something like that as well for you Pisces. For the Cancers, you do have the Five of Wands in the dark. So I do feel like maybe you've been having some private achievements. Uh, you know, just some, just your own personal definition of success and feeling that sense of satisfaction because things are starting to pick up or things are starting to look better than they were before. And that is giving you that motivation. And I feel like that is going to give you that spark to, to get motivated, do some of this thing here that we talked about. And for Scorpio, you do have the Knight of Cups in the dark. So I do feel like this really represents you, Scorpio, maybe about feeling a little lost in which direction you want to move forward in coming up next regarding your money situation i could feel that for you as well i just feel the sense of maybe misunderstanding or maybe it's just whatever's been going on in your life has made you a little bit unreliable than what you anticipated on being you know if family members have needed you for other things and that made you take more time off or whatever the case may be you know or maybe it's just the work is unreliable if it's just waiting for you to be called in for that shift whatever the case may be i do feel like things are going to pick up but we're going to clarify with this what financials how is this financial situation going to improve for pisces cancers and scorpios what other financial information can we give for pisces cancers and scorpios that's what i want to come out the temperance making sure that you have, you have that balance you know like your bank account is balanced and everything else you know making sure that you are paying those bills and not overspending on those impulse buys too i could feel that energy trying to come through 
Ooh, the devil. Yeah, those impulse buys can be like the devil. You know, they put them real shiny little things right at the cash and oh, I'll just I'll just grab one of these, you know? I know, I fall into that trap myself. <laughs> just with that temperance, you know, having that, that equal balance of, you know, money coming in, money going out kind of thing and putting it in the right places. So I do feel like it's a sense of having more control over that balance. It may break these chains and give you that sense of freedom from material wealth things, you know, those shiny things are so appealing, but in reality, you know, you have the queen of pentacles and the dark, and she's like, whoa, you need to save some money there a little bit, you know, you need to be a little bit more careful with that spending, that shiny thing, maybe not your priority right now, <laughs> you do have the high pink chest in the light, so that is good, that you are listening to your intuitive abilities like you always do, right, you listen to those, and those, and don't let your mind run wild, you know, just listen to yourself, listen to your instincts, Go forward with knowing what is right for you, what you can manage. Try to be a little realistic. And I do feel like this full moon will give you that spark of energy to get those things in order and be more successful come September, right? September is always like a new year, right? Everybody goes back to school, whatever. It always feels like a new year in September more so than January. At least I feel that way, you know? It just summer's over. Just a fresh start to get back into your routine, back into, you know, it all. So I wish you all luck. And <laughs> I'm going to switch the screens. Thank you for watching me. I am live every... Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I know sometimes I miss some. I apologize for that, but <laughs> mommy duties call sometimes. But overall, I am on live every, like I said, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every second Sunday. Every Sunday, I am not live. I will be live on a Monday. Mondays are only for members only, where I do a more in-depth reading like I did today for whoever the members are who are on the members only live. It's only $4.99 to join, and you do get that longer reading on Mondays every other Monday. I'm gonna. The more members I get, the more often I will do the members only Mondays as well. And also have some other little things that I've been uh, providing for the members online as, as well. If you want to check that out. Um, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.